Hey everybody, it's time to induct another Enforcer into my Enforcer Hall of Fame. And this one I think might be a little more controversial as far as should he be in or not than a lot of the rest. Uh, just because of the number of games played and the fact that he didn't really last that long at the NHL level. However, throughout this video, I am going to explain why I certainly think that this player belongs in the Enforcer Hall of Fame and uh, why I'm putting him in without a doubt, even though he did not play all that long at the NHL level. Now, obviously, longevity is an important part of getting into any Hall of Fame. Really, you know, you think of the Hockey Hall of Fame, having one 100-point NHL season doesn't make you a Hall of Famer, but if you have 10 100-point seasons, you're probably a Hall of Famer. As far as fighting goes, having one 15-fight season doesn't make you a Hall of Famer, but having seven or eight 15-fight seasons probably gets you into this Enforcer Hall of Fame. This player didn't play that long in the NHL, but he certainly belongs in because of some of he he was a part of some of the most legendary fights of the late '80s, um, and and really while he was in the NHL, took on the toughest of the tough and the the best fighters that the league had to offer. And this player is Craig Cox. Craig Cox only played 235 career NHL games, scoring 14 goals, 31 assists, and 45 points while racking up 713 penalty minutes. In those 235 games, he had 42 fights throughout his career, um, which obviously, compared to some of the other fighters on this list, is really not a lot. However, Craig Cox had two, two legendary fights against Bob Probert and fought the absolute toughest players in the league. If you go back, go to HockeyFights.com and look at Craig Cox's fight catalog. He was fighting the toughest of the tough when it came to um, when it came to who he was fighting in the NHL. I mean, Bob Probert, Joey Kocher, Jeff Bukaboom, Tim Hunter, Jay Miller. Uh, he had a fight against Dave Brown. Um, let's see what else. The, I, the list, John Cordick. He he was fighting the toughest guys in the league when he was in the, when he was playing in the league. Uh, Ken Baumgartner, another really tough guy. So. You know, I really think that Cox belongs, despite the lack of longevity, Cox belongs on this list, particularly for his legendary fights against Bob Probert. Anyone who stands up and goes toe to toe with Bob Probert the way that um, the way that Cox did certainly, I think, belongs here. And uh, while he may not have lasted that long in the league, he's best known for being a Vancouver Canuck, uh, his, particularly his first stint in Vancouver, which was his best. Um, 1984 to 1988 was his first uh, few years with the Vancouver Canucks, and during that time he had a couple of very, very fight-filled seasons, including those fights against Probert and um, you know many other NHL tough guys as well. He then took a quick stop with the Calgary Flames at the end of 1987-88, where he played seven games with them. Um, in 1988-89, he spent that season with the St. Louis Blues. Uh, he then went to uh, the Vancouver Canucks again, back to Vancouver for, from 1989 to 1991. And then he finished up his career with a 10-game stint with the San Jose Sharks in 1991-92. And that was it for Cox at the NHL level. Um, spent most of his career games played, came with Vancouver. Um, also had a pretty decent half season in 88-89 with St. Louis, but mostly as a Canuck. Uh, his best season as a fighter came in 1987-88 when he had 18 fights. Um, that also happened to be his best season in general in the NHL. Uh, he all, that was his best off, offensive season as well, uh, with 22 points that year um, between Vancouver and Calgary. Three seasons out of his NHL career, he hit 100 career or 100 penalty minutes in the season. And the reason that wasn't more is just simply games played. He didn't play enough to have more than three years over 100 penalty minutes. He just wasn't a regular in the lineup all that often outside of, uh, especially outside of Vancouver. Um, those other stops, he really didn't play a whole lot. So 
you're probably wondering, you know, only 42 career fights, only 235 games played. You know, how is he a Hall of Famer at anything? Craig Cox belongs in the Enforcer Hall of Fame. And if you, you know, first of all, for his fight catalog and the fact that when he was on the ice and when he was playing, he was fighting the absolute toughest guys in the league. And if you just, I'm telling you, go to hockeyfights.com, search up Craig Cox, and just watch some of his fights. One, he was fighting very, very tough players. Two, his fights were very entertaining and exciting. He got in there and threw. You know, these were fun fights to watch, which I definitely think raises his profile as a fighter. He was a really, really fun guy to watch fight and a very, very good fighter. And um, lastly... He has two legendary fights against the greatest fighter of all time in Bob Probert. The first time he fought him was in 1985. Definitely watch that fight. It gets a 9.56 out of 10 rating on HockeyFights.com. But then the big one is the rematch. This, in my opinion, might be the greatest fight of all time. Singular fight, not counting brawls. Counting singular two players toe-to-toe fight of all time in NHL history. November 19th, 1987. Look this up. Craig Cox versus Bob Probert. They go toe-to-toe Vancouver at Detroit. This was during his best season in the NHL, uh, 87-88. Absolutely incredible fight. It gets a 9.76 out of 10 rating on HockeyFights.com. I rated a 10 out of 10 without a doubt. I think it should, as far as any fight goes and getting a perfect 10 out of 10 rating, this is probably the closest um, I, it's just, it's unbelievable, toe-to-toe, back and forth, both guys throwing bombs on each other, absolutely incredible fight, if you haven't seen it, I 100% think that you should go and look it up and watch it, Cox Probert, 1987, uh, just m- pr- what, top five fight all time, without a doubt, maybe the greatest fight of all time, but between the that, those two fights with Probert, him and his fight card and who he fought and just the, the how fun and exciting and entertaining his fights were to watch. Those three things in my mind counteract the fact that he wasn't in the league that long, counteract the longevity part of this, and 100% means that Craig Cox should be in the Enforcer Hall of Fame. So this is my Hall of Fame. I get to decide who's in and who's not. I'm putting Craig Cox in. And uh, despite only having 42 career fights and 235 games played, uh, Craig Cox is an Enforcer Hall of Famer. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.